is Deb, how are you going? Today we're going to show you around Dreamworld on the Gold Coast. So we're bringing out the inner kids in ourselves. So we'll see you soon. Just showing you guys. This yeah. is something I will not be going on. I don't think I'll handle that one quite well. It was going a second ago, so yes. You go round very fast up there and they stop you halfway. No, not doing that one. Okay guys, so we're in. So there's Russell planning our attack with the map, as you can see. So it is just a matter of where to start. This is where they do the big brother as well. So we don't know where we're going to start. So plan of attack, not sure yet. Well, we just got some old time photos done, which was pretty good on the bar. And I'll post those at the end of the video for us. We're going to go and see the Tiger Island. So apparently it's Australia's biggest tiger, over 200 kilograms. So we'll see what we can get from there. But yeah, it's pretty cool around here, it's rough. Say hello. Hi there. And yeah, so it's all dream world. Here we are. Actually, I'm in the smoking area, but that's all right. And I don't know what rides we're gonna do. There's a few over there somewhere. So we'll see how we go, guys. There's one of the tigers there, guys. And there's another one coming over here. Aren't they huge? They're gonna do a tiger show shortly, so I'll try and get some of that for us. She is beautiful. Okay, the tiger show is about to start, guys, so we'll try getting some of it for us. Now, if you 
can imagine a tiger out there leaning up against the trunk of a tree, digging their claws into the bark. This, of course, Thank is you. going to be a visual indicator to any other in that environment that another tiger has been there. And also, of course, how big they are. Now, they also feel probably really nice and stretching the ligaments in and around the claw area and helps to keep their claws in tip-top condition while removing any that might be there. Now, every once in a while, you may see us tapping them on the paw. This is the way we discourage them from digging their claws into our shoulders because, as you might imagine, that doesn't tickle. We're also looking at the guys and going, how is it that they're able to hold up such large caps off one shoulder? And we would love you to think that we're pretty tough. But the reality of what you're seeing here is that the tiger is doing the work. And you're going to see that now when you get them to go into what we call a free stand or a fight stand. So now that our milk behaviour is... But here we go. Aren't they big necessary. Run. Now using this technique, what they're going to try and do is not put a punter off balance, get them on the ground. Aren't they big? Oh, they're huge. With their main weapons, of course, their canine teeth. Now in my hand here, I have a plastic replica of the tiger's canine too. The guys are actually going to come down the front and give you a glimpse of the real deal. And what you're going to notice is that only half of the tiger's tooth is exposed. The thickest and strongest part of the tiger's tooth is very deep in their skull, giving them lots and lots of extra strength in and around the jaw area. Now this isn't just important for protecting yourself, but also for catching your prey. The tiger is rated at being able to bring down prey five times. And there's a real tooth tiger, guys. Baby elephants, baby rhino, particularly the large deer, summer and sheep tail deer. Uh, they're 14 years of age. They are starting to slow down, and he is also displaying some signs of arthritis in his hips. So that's why he'll only do a couple of little jumps here, and uh, oh, just, just a few of the other behaviours that we do during this presentation. But as he comes back here, uh, how about we give him a round of applause when he comes down? Sultan up here, again he's the brother but he is definitely not showing any arthritis so you'll notice that he's a little quicker at this particular jump here, no dramas. Watch his tail, when he's jumping their tails, they use, they use them all the time, just flicking over his back is giving him extra forward momentum, it's also balancing They're waiting for the so food. So you know, after the balance is out, the tiger will use its tail and I think he's going to receive another little reward here and sometimes. Yeah, Because it doesn't need to be much. We get a million visitors that come to Greenwood every year. Anybody puts a dollar in, we get a million dollars a year for tiger conservation. So trust me, the 50s, the 20s, the 10s, those five cent pieces still wrapped around in the bottom of your pocket. Okay, so they make a huge difference. So if you can help, thank you very much. Now that is the more serious side of Tiger Island. Personally, I really believe that that's what Tiger Island is designed to do, to save the tiger. But it's the Actually, now it's raining, so we're probably going to go have something to eat and have a ride if they open up the rides. As you can see, this tiger doesn't mind the rain at all. He's still sitting up there, so hope you're enjoying it so far. Yep, that's the one where... I don't know about this now. Not so sure. I didn't think it was this big. Hey guys, how are you going? Well, Russell is going to be going on that one there. So, we'll see if we can zoom in. There he is, over there. He won't give me away. I think he, he's had to take his thongs off. They're not far off starting, I think. Yep, he's just getting checked. Strapped in. This will be good. This will be good. I oh, wasn't going on this one. MS and rides don't go well. Okay, here they go. Oh my god. <laughs> 
film six. You see already. <laughs> Somewhere. 